Before we get to some world-class tuna fishing, I would like to say thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. What is it? Uh, just a bonito with a shark shark bite in it. What's going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are offshore in Venice, Louisiana. We're on the Louisiana Blue Water Charters with Captain Bob. We got his mate Rob and another mate Joey. We got Blue Gabe in the back and we just came into some chaos. I mean we had bait fish on top of the water, big tuna bust in along with bonita and of course following the bonita we have the sharks. Gabe hooked up to to, Just um, roll the clip real okay, quick. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, he had two tuna on one lure, and then this happened. I got two tuna on one hook. No, what? get over the side. Come on, come on. Black? Yeah. That's epic. <laughs> that is great. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Whoa. No way. No way. Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh. Dude. Wow. Benita's in that. Man. Oh my god. You gotta get turned around. Ready to turn this one out. Turn it out. Turn it out. Yeah, I got turn that. Turn around, one. Joe. Get that line. Just stay out of the way right now. Oh my god. Come on, come on. Joey, just turn. He'll get that line caught up. We're gonna have to get on top of him. There's a mile of line out. Wait, can you get that belt on her? I'm gonna get back on top of this thing so we don't smoke you. And then as soon as we get up and down, I don't know how to do this belt, but... Well, we can help you out. Yeah, I'll help you out. Here, I'll get that. I'll get this. I'll get this. I'll get this. Can we get in that rod holder up there and then we'll... Get it. Joey, turn that radio down, please. Yeah, I just did. What's up, Mr. Hobie? Yeah. We're just trying to get him away from the sharks right now. We got a good one on here. We're driving back up on him, trying to stay tight. So we gotta get all this line back first. We need this fish straight up and down. And we gotta get him in the boat quick. Get him past all the sharks. Uh, pull it out, baby. Back up. Back up. There we go. Right. Pushing you back up to him. Feel the burn. Yeah, baby. I can already see the head shakes on him. It's a good fish. He rolled out. Hey, you're the one, Blue Dave, over here. He's like, we. Have, I got two ballyhoo off the back. He's like, hey, give me a ballyhoo rig. I'm rigging up one of those things. Gave him a ballyhoo rig. Send it out. Your bait wasn't out. Two minutes, three minutes. Wham! That one goes off. Good call, Gabe. I love the enthusiasm. Oh, we stay, we stay enthused on this boat. Between you me ready? and Bob, we got enough energy. Joe, help her out. Yeah, we're ready. Either help her out or drive forward. I'm driving forward. Joe, swap out. All right, Joe. Ready? Hop on the other side. Okay. I think you'll have a hold of your button all the time. All right. Stay back here, stay back here. Alright, right, you can uh, walk it back a little bit. Once you gain a little bit of line, start walking it back. Let's this thing roll away. Yep, yep, like that. Roll, roll, yep, you're perfect. I'm in you're perfect. position, I'm in position. Hope you ate your Wheaties this morning, girl. This is a grown one. You you focus on the fish. Kelly, you focus on the fish. Don't worry about what they're doing. You focus on that fish. Strapped up. We're good. Hey. We're good. We ain't good yet. We got a lot of work to do, darling. A lot of work. Look, look, look. They're still coming out the water. We're tight and they're still coming out the water, boy. Come on. Yep. Squat, yep. Steady. Like that, stand up. Short pumps, okay? The less your body moves, the less tired it'll get. Just like in the gym. Short pumps, short pumps. You start making real long pumps, your back and legs will get tired. The shorter, the better. And that keeps them coming in. Listen, you ready? 
You ready? Yeah. All right, no. here we go. Yeah. We're bumping the drag up. It was at this moment Blue Gabe started to question his knot. <laughs> oh, no. oh yeah. No, I we about to find out. I cut the what I did was cut the swivel off and went straight to the wind on. So I don't know how much that wind on leader is. Oh, That's all tight. you got. It's tight. All right, come on. Or 80. Oh, no. Come on, Kelly. Got to be aggressive. You got to pump and reel. Yep. Got to be aggressive. Like oh, when you're. already shaking. Yep. That's all right. Like when you're talking to me when I'm doing push-ups. <laughs> That's it. One more push-up. One more pump. Come on. Do these clips lock? They're kind of coming undone. There we go. That feels better. Tight. It's tight. It's tight like a tiger. Ah! Woo! Kelly, keep right, doing what you're doing. I'm gonna lower this uh, piece right. on the back, okay? Keep your hand on the rod, Joe. I'm gonna loosen up a little bit here. I'm gonna drop this down a little bit. Nice and comfy. There's that tinging noise. How, does that, how does that feel? Any better? Good. Yeah, give me lunch real, real fast, real fast if you can. You like it where it was or right there, Kelly? A little bit lower. Lower, right? Yeah. All right. Because right now it's not. Right. Yeah, usually it's like as low as you can lift, get slow, on. Lift, slow, lift, slow, 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 slow. Yeah, I gotta like to sit on it. All yep. right, real. There you go, right there. All right, we're gonna tighten you back up. Got it. Tighten her back up on that side. Good. A little more on the left. Got it. Look, that funny face went away and now it's all serious. Yep. This is big gaming right here. You got it, Rob. I actually, when my rod started going off, I'm like, that didn't just happen. I know. You moved it. It, it did. Happen. It yeah. did. Like, you picked it up from that one. As soon as you set it down, I saw a dude. Huge right fish there. just jumped right there. Talk to you, Kelly. What you need? Yeah, that's right. I just switched rod good? holders. That's too high on my back. All right. Get her set up, Joe. I think it's these shorts. These shorts are super slippery. Here's the leader right here. Yep, we're at the wind on. Babe, just fight it in the rod holder at this point. All right, no, fine. she's fine. She wants to do it and stand up. We got a little time. All right. You seem to get a black magic that's for many people. Maybe that black magic. That, uh, how's that feel? It's good. Ready? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a... I don't even know how you were holding this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, you're in. Yep, you're in that one. How much leader's on here? Not, not He's only time. about 100 feet away. Yeah, yeah probably away from oh, okay. that better? Holy moly. Oh, he's pulling right. And he's pumping crank. Oh, he's pulling now. Yep, uh -huh. straight up and down. There you go. Just there you, you and go. him. Do those cranks. Let's see them cranks. Joe's dirty water, so when he pops up, he's gonna be close. Oh yeah. Short pumps, all right. Ease back, all right, down, down, down. Yep, half a crank. Oh, he's pulling. Half a crank, that's perfect. <laughs> Ease back. Ease back. Yep, you're doing good. That's perfect. Oh, we just did a head shake. Yep, feel that head shake right there. It's a big fish, big fish. Before we catch this tuna, I want to get back to the sponsor of this video, Simply Safe. Simply Safe has a super easy setup process. And let's just say our last security system wasn't quite up to date. And trust us, we need all the protection we can get with our boats, our side-by-sides, our coolers, and our trucks. 
With Simply Safe, you'll have a base station, indoor and outdoor cameras. You'll have an arming keypad by the door with motion sensors and window sensors. And one of the best features of Simply Safe is you can access your cameras straight from your phone with the Simply Safe app. You can save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash island key to learn more. What we got going on here, folks? All right, guys, we are lump fishing. It's February and March down in Venice, Louisiana. Lump fishing, okay? We have a lot of big fish here right now. We have a lot of sharks. We got this fish on the troll. Luckily, now we're trying to get them in the boat so that the sharks don't get them. The faster we can do that, the better our chances. There's been like four or five big fish right at the boat have, have, have actually been eaten today. So we got this thing locked down. It's about all she can stand. It's about all anybody can stand. I just held the rod. It is got a lot of tension on it. Rod holder. No. You got it. You got it. Feel the burn. It. All right. All right, go. All right. Lean, lean, lean. Go. I'll you want to go forward. All right. Ready to lift? Lean, lean. Let's go to the rod holder. Yeah. Let's go to the rod holder. Just going to stay here for a while. I'm wearing yeah. it. I got it. Watch out. It's going nice and smooth right now. Smooth, smooth. operator. That was pretty much. Me and the fish no are like bangers. at the same strength right now. I can't overcome the fish, and the fish can't overcome me. So Mexican if I sat fish. there, it was just gonna go. sit there forever. Yep, we don't want this fish to go to waste. We want to take it home, make some sushi with it. I don't want the sharks eating sushi. I want to eat some sushi. All right, guys, here we go. It hasn't been an easy one this morning. We've lost a couple of sharks. We got another one on right now. We had Kelly in the belt. She did really good work for 20, 30 minutes in the belt. Okay, ready, Just couldn't ready take it watch anymore. That, so watch that rod, rod tip. Order. Watch that rod tip when it comes up. Yeah, none of that, none of what? that. Yeah, keep your left hand on the rod. All right. You want more drag? I'll give you more drag. Just pulling it. He's coming up behind us now. We're good. He's doing his circles, baby. He's doing his thing. This is what Can we like it? to see on these tunas. Every tuna does something a little bit different. Sometimes they do wide ovals. Sometimes they'll do a perfect circle. Sometimes they'll do figure eight. Once you see that same organized spin, this one kind of looks like a wide oval shape or a little bit of a teardrop going way over here, doing a, lot, a large circle, coming back, and then darting this way. Right All right, here we go. Kelly. He's scoping up. Yeah. He's just making a circle. A little, he's Water. giving it to you. Giving Keep it to you. Rod bent. Keep that rod yeah. bent. Keep your eyes yeah. on the rod tip. The rod tip will tell you everything go, you need to know. Yeah. Him, him hit, hit, take oh it. Rob, Rob. And just a reminder, no swearing, Rob. Right, oh. He's come up. We're gonna he's coming up. He's watch coming yourself up. for the. Remember, behind the line. Right. If you have to pass it to me, pass it to me. Forty foot down. Wow, the water's dirty. You're doing great, yep. Kelly. Keep it up. Right. Whipping him. Yeah, great job. Back up. A wide circle now. Fish. Like Come the on. wide circle, staying away from the boat. Come on, there's bait at the surface. Come on. Yeah. There's a giant metal tip that's going to go into his side. Big circles. Come on. Okay. Oh, hey. Real, real, real. 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 Giving you free line, baby. That weak point in that circle. We just turned him. Yep. Going back to go back out. Here's your leader. Come on, don't do it. Come there on. Oh, is. look how big he is. Oh, looks like a freaking real, big Kelly, big real. Kelly, real. Get, get him. So close, Kelly. Come on. Keep reeling. Keep on going. Clean water underneath, kicking off. Come on. Big color. Let me see it. Big under, color. Under, 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 right here. 
watch out, watch out. Can I feel that? Is that not in? Nope. Keep on going. That's a monster. Come on. No, 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 Watch out, Gabe, watch out. Right I'm on, I, I got my feet right. Come on, Gabe. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Don't turn that head down. Shoot him, got him, hit him. We got him. We got him. Yeah! Yeah! It's a giant. Yeah, 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 A giant, yeah. baby. Woo! Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Let's go. That's what it's all about, baby. You Look better believe it! Blue Cape Special did it oh right! Oh my god! Fish of a lifetime! You ain't kidding me! You wanna get in there and help him? Oh my god! Nice and easy, guys! Nice and easy! Hey, hold him right there! You toggled that dart! Nice shot! Dude, I I'm shaking tell. right now! I couldn't tell who he was! Oh my gosh, you guys, that was insane! Do oh. side my arm is yeah, hurt. See if we can get a gunnel shot. Yeah. All right. All right. Come on, Kelly. This way. Put it. You know, put uh, put your camera up. We're gonna set it on the hold gunnel. On, hold on, guys. And you're gonna lean over. And you're gonna, gonna get all this stuff okay. out of your right. way so you're not tripping on stuff. Right here. Yeah. All right. Well, you're gonna you're gonna look at Gabe. You're gonna look at Gabe. All right. You ready? One. Now we can get back at it. He's in the boat. Yeah, baby! Oh Woo! my goodness. Ain't no, ain't no control on a fish like that. Holy moly. That's a big Yeah! Unit. My, my hands. That's one, <laughs> 160. Oh, I'm calling him 160. Woo! He's a butterball. He's a fatty. Look at that. Look at those colors. Like a Shocker. rainbow. Oh my god. All right, let's get that thumbnail right now. Let's do it. How's that feel right there, Kelly Young? Not too bad, kind of light. This is, it's like you're uh, sitting, getting ready for a, <laughs> for a, a fashion show. Don't. All the people making sure the fish is pretty, moving your hair, how about that? Look at the sickles on that thing, man. That's crazy. I never knew fish had boogers, but I definitely got yellowfin tuna booger on my Ew. You're not sleeping in bed with me tonight. Oh, Ew. that just totally landed on the reel. Ew. You could have threw it at Joey standing oh, right there. He's already got it all over him anyway. I do. I'm, I'm done. done. So, we just got our pictures with the fish. The one thing with these our big fish down. is you want to get photos pretty quick because the color will just diminish, kind of like a mahi mahi back at home. But right now, they're going to gut him and properly put him on ice because the one thing you want to do with tuna, especially, is get them on ice pronto. So, let's do it. Yeah. Do you open there these? Goes. I got one. If you open this fish up right now, it wouldn't be warm. It wouldn't be air temp. It's hot. It is legit hot. That's one thing I learned when I was fishing Guadalupe in the Pacific. When those great white sharks would eat one of these fish whole, the stuff that we could recover was very hot. So Dang. here's how I do these tuna. And I do, if you guys have seen me before, it's kind of the exact same way that we do our blue fins. This is how this is how the commercial fleet does it, and it's done. We and we do this to get the core of the fish, the insides, as cool as possible. So you cut in right there, turn the corner. You can't really bend the knife that much, or you're gonna snap it. A lot of song, Mark. It's all a lot of work. Right here. Boom, you'll play it out. Yeah. Yeah. And you come around this little scoop right here. And you dig out, just kind of outline his gill. And now all of his guts are exposed, his insides are exposed. You cut a line from its poop chute. Make like a, a, a section just so it's barely big enough to get your hand in. You take all those pieces. Pull, there's four little tubes right here. You gotta make sure they're all pop, they're all pop. And then once you do that, the guts should come out. You just and one take them out piece. with one hand? You can, yeah. Dang. You can actually, if you had a, a good enough hose, you can actually- Hose them out. Um, yeah, you can push it in here. 
push the head of it in there and it will blow all the guts out. It's a good thing Captain Bob has this nice massive ice chest because if he didn't, we'd be in trouble right now. <laughs> While Joey's doing that, it's getting a little gruesome over there in the ice chest. We're gonna cut open his stomach. I got rope on me, there's doors swinging everywhere. And see what this yellowfin tuna has been eating. Good old ballyhoo that's missing his nose. Yep. Now you know what troll naked stands for. That's right. Trolling naked ballyhoo. All right, you guys, we are ending our trip. We're headed back in just so we have some extra daylight to finish filming this video. A lot of times when we go offshore fishing, we get in super late, we're tired, there's no light to film, but this time we're thinking ahead of time. We got two massive yellowfin tuna in the boat, we all got thanks. a lot of fish to clean. With Louisiana Blue Water Charters out here in Venice, Louisiana. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. And Every I'm day so ain't this good, but like I said before, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. I don't guarantee fish, I guarantee opportunities. Oh, that's a good slogan, motto right there. All right, y'all, we're headed back in. I think that's the first mangrove I've ever seen in Louisiana. Really? That's a big one too. And a nice triple tail. We're pulled up back to Venice Marina. We got two Mac Daddies in the cooler right now. <laughs> so now the obstacle is to getting these big fish out into that barrel. Put another yeah. barrel on The barrels. What do you call them? Wheel barrel? Wheel, a barrel, the barrels. That one was yours, I think. This is like 10 pounds heavier. That's fine, let it go. That might be too. We gotta, we gotta guess these weights before we fill the weights. You gotta wheel yours, babe. Put them quads into it. Is that the quad? Is that the right muscle? I mean, this is easy. I can do it one-handed. Oh, downhill we go. Um, let's do the smaller one first. So this one. I love the sound of those seagulls. Alright, so I'm gonna, let's see, guessing the weight. 100 and, oh it's gutted too, so 158 pounds. Oh, you're getting pretty close. 158, that's my guess. Yours? 170? 170. Alright, change of plans. We're bringing the fish inside to weigh them. Had about 10 pounds of guts in it. So we're calling it a 165. That's a heck of a fish, Kelly. Yo. 155 gutted. Nice. I guess 158 gutted, so pretty close, pretty close. Sweet. Oh, blue got my fish. All right, come out. What was the biggest one? Right behind you. Next. Next. You were close on both. Like 185 on both. Or 185 hole. Wow. Right. 
trophies, baby. So, game plan. We're gonna clean one of them here, and then we're gonna take the other one for Blue Gabe's channel, and I don't even know what we're doing with it. We're Catfish. gonna put it in the car and go catch something with the elephant doing it. In the rental car. In the rental car. <laughs> All right, are we, are we ready for this? Yeah. Look at some hard skin. It's like... Right here? Yep. Start right there and follow that backbone all the way down. Oh, I see now. You kind of want to angle your knife like down just a little bit to make sure you get the uh, knife against his. Uh, his back. Oh, look at that nerve. This is a much bigger fish than I'm used to. Oh, I see. I see what's going right there. Uh, that's like a protective plate that's around. Their fin right here, it kind of starts right here and comes up like that. Oh, see, I had no on idea. On both sides there. Okay. On the smaller, on the smaller fish, it's there also. But as the bigger the, the fish gets, the thicker that plate gets. Okay, so you just shove it right through then. Yep. All right, I was being too gentle. Jesus, this thing is ridiculous. You'll see once, Same uh, thing right, there. right in there, there's a bunch of bones in there, yep. I feel I need to show the audience what's making that racket. All the birds. Those are the noisemakers, folks at home. <laughs> Do I pop it through right here? Like nope, it, go no. all the way through. All right. I mean, all the way down to its tail. Yep. Really, you're just Jeez. breaking the skin. So now we're going to flip them around. We're going to outline his belly. Same, same deal. Right, this so is all ribs right here, okay. so I don't I don't try and get every bit of meat. I just kind of come right down here and then go down like that. And we save his uh, his uh, meat right here for later. Yep. Sometimes it can be tough getting around that sickle fin. I feel like it's the opposite of like. You never want to like saw a fish, and these ones you want to saw. It's crazy. I'm hitting that bone. Oh, we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. Hold on. <laughs> these seagulls are so Dude, bombing you. I thought my hand was tired from reeling in this fish. <laughs> this is work. You going to let this whoop you? Dude, this is the most work I've done in a while. Them big fish got that thick skin. Yeah, they do. I'm such a delicate person. I don't want to like push too hard, and definitely got to push now hard. Flip it around. Okay. Now we're gonna find his lateral line right here. Say it again. Right. We're gonna find his lateral line. Okay. And they have ribs that go from their backbone out this way, all the way down the lateral line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna outline that and bring your knife on each side of that lateral line. You see how it kind of jumps back in right here? Okay. Right there. And we're going to take out maybe as much as an inch, maybe not quite as much, so but an like inch. Like this right end? down in there. Nope. Straight oh, no. down. Straight. Okay. Straight down to the backbone. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Easy all right. enough. All right. All right. I got this. Right there. Angle Come it in. just a little bit in. Yep. A lot of this is about angle. Clean cross Kelly Young. How about that? That's my favorite part when they get stuck on the. Just go. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that, what is that word called that all these videos nowadays? Like pleasing, satisfying? Yeah, satisfying. Right, we're gonna pleasing. run this knife right back through there just to make sure we're all the way down to the backbone. You can hear the backbone and feel it hitting against the knife. On both sides we can do it. Well that looks good. Now we're gonna spin the fish. And this fish is gonna have a top loin and a bottom. We're gonna flip them over and it's gonna be the same way, a top and a bottom. We'll have four loins out of this fish. Alright, so yep. just cut this. Yep, cut that off. All right. Now make, make a, little a little spot for your finger. All, All right. right. 
Get you a good grip on it. Set that knife down. Lay this hand right there. All right, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna hold it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Gotcha. Look at that. And then cut it. There we go. Perfect. You got it? Oh, no. Nope. Big two and one. Oh, yeah. no, I got it. You have your finger in there? Yeah. Perfect. I got it now. You almost toggled Up this dark shot, too. My first yellowfin oh, tuna nice. loin. That's a big one. Yeah, that's huge. That's heavy. All right, Babe, so. I got to do something. Because, you know, you always tell me what's half yours and vice versa. Half mine, half yours. What? This cat right here is a huge fan. Gotta we got to cut him off a chunk of tuna and right. give him okay. and his family. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for following along. But you also, you have to subscribe to her channel. I think I might already be. I've okay. been subscribed right. for a while. Awesome. All right, let's cut them off a piece. Um, get going because we got another yellow tuna to clean. Well, we got to pull the dart out really quick. I believe it's still in this board. Is it not? Did it? Oh, I that think it almost be... toggled, Bob. I think the dart, is the dart in mine or his? The dart's oh, in mine. Oh, this is the one that toggled. That's right. Never mind. Sorry. We'll see ya in the kitchen folks all right we are back at the fish intimidator lodge <sighs> look at this beautiful piece of belly meat from the yellow i don't know if it's from my yellowfin tuna or gabe's but check this out we're gonna go ahead and slice it up into some fine sashimi pieces right here right here we have a mixture of just soy sauce and wasabi give it a little kick baby but are you comfortable with your audience yes i am <laughs> It is a little quiet in here, but you know what? Because of YouTube, you cannot play music. Man, that just sliced like butter right there. I thought I thought Ron was coming in. Hmm. You're right. killing me with suspense. I want to taste it so bad. All right. That's really good. So this reminds me, throwing it back to Boston, gosh, this video must have been a year and a half ago. We were all sitting on the dock and somebody just caught a bluefin tuna. To them, it's just like, they catch them all the time. They don't even think anything of it. He had sashimi pieces laying out all over the cooler and they're like, oh, you gotta have the belly meat. So I'm like, all right. So I pick up this belly meat and it's like the most beautiful piece of meat you'll ever think of. First thing I do is drop it right on the, right on the deck at the marina. But they have so much of it, and it was so good. The thing with the bluefin tuna is, if you look right here in the striations, the elephant tuna doesn't really have that much fat in between the striations of meat, but the belly piece of a bluefin tuna has very thick striations of fat, and that's what makes it so expensive. All right, our two guests over here that are staying at the Fish Intimidator Lodge, come try this piece right here. Any of the sliced yeah. pieces. Oh, Eddie. We saw. Uh oh, the buzzards hey, are coming. Hey, here, here, hey, we, 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 I saw. I saw them come off the dock today. We had fished inshore, and I saw them pulled up. And we're like, hey, those are the guys we had dinner with last night. And so we we're in suspense. We're like, wait, what's coming out of that cooler? They pull those tuna out. Like, oh snap! Oh snap! They got on them. These guys can catch fish. Thank you. All right, let me try this. It was on Gabe's baits we caught the fish too. Mm. 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 You guys are That's awesome funny. on camera. Money. This That's is amazing. <laughs> Heck yeah. Sweet. Mm. Awesome. So Gabe has a little surprise in the back of the kitchen mm. that he wants to show you guys. A little sneak peek. It's this red fish. Yeah, right. No. Next time. Next time That's we're true. back in Louisiana, we're catching big bull reds. Here, I got it's this chunk of tuna. No, it's no, not. No, no, it's not no, that. No. Although this, the chef, the oh chef. Oh my gosh, it tastes so okay. good too. The chef at the Fish Intimidator Lodge created this masterpiece right here. And it's actually imitation crab or sea bass, something like that, that Ron told us. Here's With a man pasta. himself. Oh yeah, there you go. It's sheep's head. He boiled sheep's head down. Sheep head, for real? Sheep head, yes. Mm -hmm. Sheep head, it he boiled like it down into like a soup, then took the meat out made the pasta, made a white sauce. That stuff right there is mm. legit. And he's also who made my Nutri wrap for me. We're gonna show you just a quick glimpse. No, it's in the one. oven? This right here. All right. Oh boy. Oh, oh the, look at the teeth. 
Nope. Kelly's eating the brains. Nope. Nope. I am not getting some funky disease from a rat in Louisiana. Sorry. Hold on. Let me hold the camera. I'm not. Can we talk about your bruises? Oh, yes. And it's not even a been six hours Listen, yet. This bruise right here, this one, when I was holding the elephant by myself, it was slipping and slipping. That sickle, the yellow sickle that comes off the bottom of the fish, the base of it was just digging into my leg and I was trying to press my leg up because that fish is so heavy I didn't want it to slide off. Literally 10 minutes later, it started bruising. Also, you did good, boo. Over here. I'm gonna have a big bruise right here tomorrow because the tuna was on the deck and I started doing the tuna shake and it smacked me in the leg. And I'm, yeah. Can I'm we go home now and bruised. relax? Yeah, we still gotta turn around and film two videos for Gabe. For you, That's I don't fun. even know. We got a lot to do, but right now this video is ending. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the Fish Intimidator Lodge here in Venice, Louisiana. You won't regret it. See ya.